very common gripe we've heard from the resources sector even before the boom times is uh, around red tape and green tape and the, the barriers doing business in the in the resources space. Gary, is there uh, is there a point to be made there? Do you think that the industry does face too many challenges? There could be some way of making it easier for the companies out there. Well, I, I think it's a it's a combination of challenges. The first one is to ensure that our approvals processes are robust and our communities can invest in them and believe that when an approval is given, it's given having been properly considered. Does streamlining that approvals process, is that a priority at all for you in your role? As it is, it is, and where we can, we do and we should. And I think when you look around the major projects of Western Australia, we see a process that works effectively and quickly. Sometimes at the lower end of the projects, where you don't quite have the uh, people power um, and the staff on board, uh, the processes can get uh, more slow and more difficult, Reg. That's that, that is indeed uh, what, what happens. I mean, there are the, the average uh, project approval in this state based on the State Department's uh, Gantt chart, if you like, flowchart, is around four and a half to five years. And, and that's far too long. Um, there are projects, as uh, Gary has mentioned, that will be approved much, much quicker. And, and there's a lot of uh, what is called front ending. So the companies will spend a, a lot of time on the biodiversity issues, broader environmental issues, engineering issues, etc. Uh, but that comes at a significant cost. It comes at many, many millions. And, and in this current environment, when you are looking at cost, you have to ask yourself whether that sort of expenditure should be, uh, should be required. Now, to a certain extent, it, it, it has to be done in any case. But we can do it much more effectively without reducing standards. Nobody argues for standards. L last year, uh, when uh, the announcement was made that the federal government and the states would work together and, in essence, revert back to the original intent under the EPBC Act, and that was for the federal government to set standards. And I don't think too many people would argue with that. I wouldn't. I think you may have to have consistent standards across the country. But the actual approval to be done in the states was a fundamental step in the right direction. When that was reversed in December last year, it was very, very disappointing because there was a lot of very good work done between the federal government and the states in delivering a much more streamlined process. Because what happens now is that the bulk of the approvals still sit within the state jurisdiction. But most companies will in fact run a parallel federal approval just in case the federal act is triggered. Now if you can overcome that sort of duplication, that is a major cost saving. But this is not an argument about reducing standards. It's, it's about uh, ensuring that very high standards are maintained, but we have a very effective system. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Reg. I mean, our, our direct experience is to see a, an increasing level of influence at a federal level for our project approvals. And that's that, to my mind, has been evident in the last five to seven years as we've developed our mining projects. I, I think um, fundamentally, approvals are handled well at a state level. And it's pretty simple, actually. Basically, you've got people on the ground who understand and know the project areas intimately. And uh, there's not too many um, challenges or, or hurdles that they wouldn't have seen before in dealing with similar projects. And to my mind, it is much better dealt with at a state level, in which case um, I would much prefer to see, to see approvals generally basically pulled back to a state level with only the barest minimum of referral as and when it's required to a federal level. I just want to wrap up with your thoughts when you, when you hear things like that. It doesn't sound like anyone wants to uh, shirk the responsibilities. It just seems to be some pretty clear feedback that it can be done better and smarter. And, and we'd agree with that. Um, I do think it's important that we get approvals that are timely and it's critical that we get approvals that will work and not be challenged. And in order to achieve those things, I do think it's necessary for the Commonwealth and the state to work harder together and to do less business with each other and to allow business to get on with doing what it does well and allow the regulator to properly protect the environment and the general circumstances as well as it possibly can. Sounds like there's some common ground coming together. Uh, let's hope we can get a positive outcome from that.